All right, so now we're gonna review the single crochet hook in the first row. So we need to do one more chain, it's our turning chain. And now we're going to go to the second heart or second uh, stitch from our hook. So this is one, this is two. We're gonna stab that heart and we have two loops on. Make sure you're controlling your tails. You're gonna grab yarn or yarn over and pull through one, violin back up. You now have two loops on. You're gonna yarn over or grab yarn and pull through two. Then you're gonna to go to the next heart, which is, you see how we have this big one, the spot here that's really big? That's the one we just did, so we're going to the next small heart. We're stabbing it in the middle. We're gonna grab new yarn or yarn over, pull through just one loop. There's a pause. We're gonna grab new yarn, yarn over. Grab new yarn and yarn over is interchangeable in my language. And then we pull through both loops. Next heart, not the big one, the little one next to it. Stab the heart, pull through one loop, pause, pull through two loops. Not the big heart, but the little one. Go in, pull through one, pause, pull through two. Now remember when you're going in, you're going into the middle of the heart, and when you're grabbing the yarn, you still have a little bit of a wrist twist going on. Still that motorcycle wrist twist moment. You pull through one, and you pull through two. You also want to make sure that you're controlling the knot near your loop there. Because if you control the loops, it makes it easier to go in. So I've got my yarn pinched like so, so I can pull through once, pause, pull through two. See how I hold the yarn, pull through one. I'm controlling the loops with my hold, pull through two. Push down, push through, pull through one, pull through two. And we go in, pull through one, pull through two. This is my last stitch. I know it's my last stitch because if I tighten that knot there, there's no other stitches after this one, so I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna pull through one, I'm gonna do my pause, pull through two, and now I'm going to do a turning chain. So it's grabbing new yarn or yarning over and pulling through just one time. And then I flip my work or flop my work, which are flip flop. Either way, all the yarn I'm about to work into is now in my yarn hands, whether it be left or right. In my case, it's left. All right, so on the second row of single crochet, we go, there's this little hole here. And when we go in, we lift the hearts this time. So it looks like I have three loops on. We're just gonna count this loop here as one. So we're gonna grab new yarn or yarn over, pull through once, pause, pull through twice. Okay, looking for this hole just under the work we just did. So there's this hole and this hole. We want the top hole here. I'm gonna go in. I've got the whole heart. I'm gonna grab through once and then pull through two loops. Next one. This should be pretty easy to get through. If you're having difficulties, it's likely because you've gone and gaitered, as I call it, which means that you're now working in the bottom of your work instead of the top of your work. So you've twisted your work and you're now going to the bottom and it's, as you can see, it's really hard to do. So you wanna make sure that your tail, your knot tail is at the facing down, it's in the down position here, like this. And you're only working along the top and you're gonna go in, you pull through once, you pull through twice. You go in, pull through twice, then pull through twice, pull through twice, then pull through twice. Now we're getting close to the end here. I know that I have one more stitch here. I know this because if I turn my work, I have this little bop sticking out. So. I'm gonna go into my last stitch, it's a little on the side. I'm gonna pull it through one time, pull through two, pause. 
I'm going to do my turning chain, which is just yarning over, aka grabbing yarn, and pulling through the loop one time, flopping my work. So all the work is now heading in my left or in my yarn hand here. So again, you're going to pick the the first stitch here. You know it's your first stitch because this is your chain stitch, and you're going to get it into the hole, pulling through, pull through two, go in, lifting the hearts. Pull through one, pull through two. So you continue that for as many rows as you need. Again, this is the single crochet. And you just want to find the holes along the top of your work. And you also want to make sure that you're coming in from the front of your fabric to make things a lot easier. If you're coming in from the back, it gets a little complicated for you. So make sure you're always coming in from the front pull through one, pull through two. Coming from the front, pull through one, pull through two. Pull through one, pull through two. And as you get more, as you add more rows to your work, it will start to pull down on its own weight and any mistakes that you've made will work their way out. So again, I know I have one more stitch here because if I turn my work right now, I'll have a bop out. It goes out like this. So I'm gonna go finish that stitch, pull through once, pull through two, chain one for my turning turn and turning chain and flipping my work. And you just continue on doing that.